Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I got something awesome to show you. We are in Kling AI, and this is a fantastic new AI image and AI video generator. Now, for those you're not aware, Kling AI is essentially an AI video generator, but it is next generation. And here's the thing, with a simple text prompt or an image for just dropping an image, you can create lifelike videos like the ones you see running behind me. You can do all of this with one click, and I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. All right, before we roll up our sleeves and get into the nitty gritty, let me give you a quick high level Coles Notes, Spark Notes summary of what's going on at 1.5. First up, they now support 1080p HD videos in professional mode, and there's no change in price. So higher resolution, higher quality, no price change. Can't beat that. Second off, Motion Brush. This is fantastic new technology, and they do an amazing job with it. You could basically paint in an area or multiple areas and draw in motion paths. Create motions in your images. It's awesome. I'm going to show you how to do it. A couple other upgrades worth noting. You can now generate four videos at a time, so it's a little faster and it's a little more convenient. And they've also got the image to video, which supports a 10-second duration as opposed to the five-second gener generation, pardon me, and end frames are available in standard mode. So for those of you that are into that, it's there as well. And also they've got resolution enhancement and a new guide. So it's all there. Let's get into it. Here we go. All right, the next step is you want to go to klingai.com. That's it. You'll see a screen just like this. And presto, here we go. Links in the description below, of course. Now, when you come to this page here, it'll ask you if you want to sign in. Go ahead and do that. And here's the thing. They have some very generous offers here. They have a free plan so that you get free credits to try this out. So this isn't buy it and then try it. This is try before you buy it. That's very important. And the other thing I want to mention real quickly here is that Kling AI is a competitor with Sora, and that is OpenAI's AI video generation system, but there's a big difference. And the biggest one is simple. Kling AI has shipped a product while Sora is just in theory, you know, it might ship today, it might ship two years from now, nobody's for sure. So. Kling AI gets all the marks for this because they ship. All right, with that in mind, let's go up here to the top right here. And then you're going to see here, when I hover over, I've got my little uh, icon here. I've logged in and I've got a paid plan. So I'm going to show you both the free plan and the paid plan. Let's get into that. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is their pricing. And straight up, I'm going to tell you right now, I think it's very fair. And the reason why is because it is not pay first. You do not have to pay to use the program. It is try and if you like it, then you can buy it. And they give you 66 free credits per day. So if I hover over here, you'll see it says 66 credits, and they expire within 24 hours. So as long as you log in that day, you can go ahead and start creating some free AI videos, AI images, as you see fit. That's very, very fair, and I'll show you how that works in a second here. If you're a power user and you intend to use it a lot, like I do, I make a lot of videos, <laughs> it's what I do, I will click on purchase a membership plan to get credits. And when you do that here, you're going to see here there's a whole bunch of different options here. You can do yearly, monthly, and one month. So there's a lot of different things here. Let's click on yearly here. This is the standard. You can pay 79 bucks a year and you get 660 credits a month. And what is that? Like, like five bucks a month or seven bucks a month or something like that. Not even seven bucks a month. You can do their pro plan, which is 3,000 and then 8,000 credits. And again, you're going to see how many credits each video takes on average so you can you know gauge it accordingly if you want to do monthly instead you get discounts here three dollars and 88 cents per month gets you 660 credits a month that seems pretty reasonable um and then one month so if you want to just do one month at a time also available so these are all different options you can also click on purchase credits and you could just do a one-off purchase so if you want to get 330 credits for five bucks or 660 for 10 bucks to just give it a run you can do that too. These are all options available. These may change in the future. I'm not sure, but hey, that's how it is now. But again, we get 66 free credits to try. So let's go ahead and see what we can get with those credits. All right. The next thing we want to do is we want to get cooking. All right. On the left side here, you're going to see AI images and AI videos in the little menu here. We're going to click on AI videos. However, before I do that, just take a quick look here under gallery. Again, this is on the front page, but if you want to just see how good Kling AI really is. It is the real deal. For example, this kitty cat video here, if I click on it, look at this. This is absolutely astonishing. This looks like a real cat smelling some flowers. It would be, I would say it's almost virtually impossible 
to tell that this is not the real deal. I mean, crazy stuff. Kudos to Kling AI. Also, if you want to go ahead and make your own version of it, clone and try, you can just click on that there. And if you want to use this video, just click on the download button and you can go ahead and do that. So with that out of the way, now let's get into the AI video side of things. I'm going to click on that. And now it's time for us to start really cooking. All right, here we go. So to get started, just click on AI videos like I've done there. And then presto, we've got two options to start with. We have text to video and image to video. In this case, we're going to go with text to video or text prompt to video. And it is extremely easy to use. It's actually unbelievably easy. All you need to do is just type in here under prompt what you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to have an English bulldog reading a book on the moon. Oops, make sure it's spelled right. Okay, something silly like that. Just want to show you some techniques. It gives you some hints if you're looking for hints. But you know what? I want a bulldog reading a book on the moon because that's just how I roll. Okay, when we go down a little further here, we're going to see under settings, we have a few options. Now, keep in mind that I have a paid account here. So I have options. I have access, pardon me, to the standard mode and the professional mode. Professional mode gives you access to a 10 second video as opposed to a five second video. And you can also see here, we're going to get some camera movement options. But let's start with standard mode. Let's go ahead and start with standard mode so you can see what it looks like. Standard mode, the length is restricted to five seconds. And then here we go. We've got some at, we get the creativity slider. This is very simple. Basically, you're just telling Kling AI how much do you want them to uh, be creative with your prompt. So if the creativity is all the way to the left, it means basically be extremely creative. Surprise me. Here's our prompt. Have some fun. Go nuts. If you want to be very, very, you know, pedantic and you want it to stick exactly to the prompt, you can jack the relevance up to one here. And basically, it's going to be an English bulldog reading a book on the moon, and it's not going to do too much in terms of uh, creative, uh, you know, no latitude, so to speak. It's just going to go ahead and stick to the prompt. So both options are available. I'm going to keep it in the middle because I kind of want it to stick to the prompt, but I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of creativity in there. But again, you can adjust this as you see fit. Length, five seconds, standard mode. And then here we go. Aspect ratio. Simple stuff. If you want to go ahead and keep it at 16.9, I recommend that. This is the widescreen YouTube style. So the standard YouTube video, the standard uh, Facebook video, for example, if you like TikTok and you like YouTube shorts, slip it up and change it to 9.16. And one-to-one -one is kind of appropriate for like Instagram videos where you get that square look. But in this case, we're going to keep it widescreen because I like that the most. Also, you can generate multiple videos here. Look down here. You see it says generate 10 credits. That basically means I'm going to be using up 10 credits. Now, if you think about the fact that I mentioned earlier, you get 66 credits to start. That means you get at least six free video generations per day in this format, in this style. Again, very generous. Kling AI is very, very good for this. So something to think about. If I turn this up to two, I'll use two credits. If I turn it up to three, you know what? I'm using 30 credits. And you know what? For this one, let's go ahead and use 30 credits because whatever. Why not? I get 66 free credits a day. Also, for some of you uh, that have the pro memberships, you can go ahead and use all of these different pro shots. I believe in the standard version, you get access to a couple different camera movements. Let me go into my free account over here, and then let's take a look at that here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the free account, and this one, you can see it's a free account. And let's go ahead and type in the, the same thing. There's Bulldog reading a book on the moon, and then we'll just keep everything else the same here. But let's take a look here at... Uh, camera movement. I believe there are restrictions. Yes, you can't do the master shots with the free version. So just something to keep in mind. Minor change, but it's just, you know, I want to be as honest and accurate as possible. So if I want to add in some camera movements, go ahead and do that. In this case, we are going to do a zoom shot, a standard zoom shot, and then we can adjust the strength of the zoom from zero to the left to the right. So zoom in, zoom out. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in at, let's say, two. Now let's go let's go for a bigger zoom. Let's go with like a five. Let's let's really sell it. Okay, so I've selected a zoom of five. And then hey, negative prompt. This is things that you don't want, but in most cases, you know, they know not to put, you know, not suitable for work things and inappropriate content in there. So there we go. This is our first crack at it. You've seen all the settings. Let's click on generate. I'm clear creating three videos. So this might take a few extra seconds because we're creating a whole bunch of content. Come back when we're done. I'll show you what we got. 
I'm gonna show you some next steps. All right, welcome back. So let's see what our English Bulldog on the Moon looks like. And I asked for three videos, so if I scroll real quickly here, you're gonna see, look at that. We've got an English Bulldog chilling out, reading a book on the moon. How cool is that? Here's another example of this smooth criminal just chilling. I'll zoom out here, I'll hit play. Look at that, this is fantastic. And as somebody who owns a bulldog and has a bulldog, I love it. Making pet videos is my favorite thing to do. Look at this one here. Look at this guy. He's just sitting out, chilling, reading his book. Got the perfect number of totos on his paws there. Looks like an English bulldog. Doesn't have the big Frenchy ears. This is fantastic. And if you look a little further here, you'll see on the right side that this is where all the videos that I've made in the past are. And I made a video with a French bulldog on the moon, as you can imagine, because I'm original. Let's look at this one here I made earlier. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's go ahead and actually gonna hit play here. Let me just go ahead and hit play and watch this one. This is a French bulldog on the moon. Hit play, let's go. There we, look at that, this is amazing. And as amazing as that is, I've got one more thing I wanna show you and that's the motion brush. This is wild stuff and it's brand new. Let me show you how to do it real quickly here on the left side, I'm gonna click on AI videos. And then here up at the top, make sure that you're on Kling 1.0, at least right now. This might change in the future, but right now it works with Kling 1.0. And then as we go down here, you'll see under text to video, we've got our regular options, but under image to video, when you click on that, if you go halfway down, motion brush, that is what we wanna cook with. So we have some options, we can create our own image, or we can just drag and drop in our own image that we've already created, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna click click on this one right here, and it says click drop paste. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go to my desktop, and I've got a nice screenshot, or I've got a nice AI image of a moon, with a cityscape in the background. Pretty nice stuff here. If you want to use add end frame, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna leave that off. But there you go, you can set the exact end frame if you so choose. This is a brand new uh, update and it works great. But for this case, we're not gonna do it. Uh, we don't need to enter in any prompt because we've already got our image. But again, you can if you wish to create your own images. Now we're gonna click on draw motions. Now this is super duper simple, but you have to basically know the technique here. So what I'm gonna do here is, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna hover here. This is the brush, so I'm gonna increase the brush size. Just watch this here. And I'm gonna make it about 30. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, in this case, I'm just gonna basically brush in the moon. And again, this is not a perfect brushing, but for this video, because I don't have my uh, iPad out, eh, this is gonna be good enough for what we're doing here. So there we go. I've gone ahead and brushed some in. If you go out of the lines like I've done here, you can just go ahead and add in a little bit of erasement. So just to make it a little bit tighter. Okay, we'll go with something like that for now. Okay, good enough. Now we can start tracking in some paths. This is where the magic happens. So watch this. I'm gonna go ahead up here. I'm gonna click on this track here and now watch what we can do. All right, so once you've clicked on track, look at this here, I've clicked it. Now I'm just gonna kinda just draw where I want this moon to go. So I kinda want it to go in this direction and I would curve it a little bit better than that. That might be too steep of a curve, but that's okay, cause I just wanna show you the technique. I'm not exactly Picasso, so here we go. So there we go, we've gone in one track. Now you will note that you can do up to six tracks. So if you've got multiple things that you wanna get on the move, feel free to do that, but I'm just showing you the technique. So we're gonna go with a simple one to start. I'm gonna click on confirm, and now watch what happens. It's gonna go ahead and it's gonna think about these things, and it's gonna go ahead and create and generate this. When it's done, I'm gonna come back and show you what we got. All right, here we go. So let me show you what we got with the motion brush. I'll just hit play here. Look at that. We've got this cool moon moving in the image exactly the way I wanted it to do. So this is another incredible feature that is in Kling AI. So there you have it. There is a quick look at all the different parts of Kling AI. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Thanks for watching.